Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Star Traders Frontiers. We are Matilda. And um, we are going to have less money than we should. Because I'm an idiot. But that's okay. We shall recover. Let's go ahead. Level up this gunner guy. Hey, rank 5. Nothing uh, very useful, though. Um, okay. I'll actually take a second one of these. Sure. Remove that risk card when patrolling. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to buy fuel. How much time on this mission left? Yeah, still quite a while, but we will do it next. But first, I think we're going to come here because it's got... Alec. Alec? Hey, hey. Alec has high... Eh, not that high military. We need to find a place with high military and a high starport. Frankly, there doesn't seem to be one for us here. No? Okay. Nine military. I know I saw nine military somewhere. This is our destination. Hopefully it's nearby. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go here. We're going to upgrade our ship. But before we go and do that, I do want to take a look. I'm sure we have some more... Well... Not really. There's a Reichardt Spymaster here. Who does sell pardons. He does sell pardons. But uh, I can only imagine how expensive that would be. Take a look. So because of a lot of our talents, we've definitely... I'm almost certain we've gained some more... Um, contacts. Like this guy, for example. Diplomat recruits, buys intel, gives introductions. So this guy right here, right? We're going to go to him at some point. Possibly pick up a diplomat. But what we can do is sell him a bunch of intel. We get a bunch of rep with Altameza and him. Then we can buy introductions. And suddenly we expand our network into Altameza. Devalta's High Princess is not super useful for us. She does discount new ships, but it's not very close. Um, Altameza High Princess, also really quite good. Bounty Hunter Recruits, might be something we're interested in. Also Trade Permits, really, really, really good to have access to this, as well as buying Intel. So this combination right here makes it really easy. If you, if you stockpile your Intel, you can just fly to them, sell them a bunch of Intel, Altameza will love you, and you can buy Trade Permits, and then just, it makes it so much easier to buy uh, to make money. Um, we've got a Judicial Council here. He does offer combat armor. Um, and does buy some. Okay, he's not super useful. If we want combat armor, the only way to get personal rep with him is to sell him intel. Kadar Science Officer. Trade Permits Rank 2 is not bad. Sniper Recruits? Interesting. Specialist Gear can be useful. He also buys intel. Quite handy. Now we're getting a little bit further away. A commander recruit? Oh my. Um, he actually has decent influence. This is something we may consider because I, I am dying for another commander. It, they would be so freaking useful. Um, mining Samrak. Interesting. We could do missions for him and grind up trade permits. It's really not what I like to do. Explore missions are also not really our, our bag. Um, and Zenrin over here, who has rare trade goods. Interesting. Provia Bloom. Well, we can find where you are. And see. Uh, way the heck out of here. Yeah, you, you can... So we could buy Pruvia Blooms, but there is a Devalto system here. Devalto's Industrial, but I don't think they're interested in buying the Bloom. So, rare trade goods, they can have the ability to sell them, but you have to also have to have, have to also have to have, the Quadrant needs to supply the rare trade goods. So they do line up, meaning that we can actually uh, buy them there, but it's way the hell out there. Seems unlikely uh, for us to actually be able to do that. Um, I may want to write down, actually. It's 
we can find out where we sell them and what kind of uh, permits we need and such like that, then, you know, it's something to keep in mind. But for now, not going to help us out very much. That's it for our contacts. So we did pick up some useful ones. We're not going to take advantage of them right now, I think, because I want to actually go ahead and do this mission that we have. Um, also of note, we've probably learned of quite a bit of these. In particular, oh, I guess... Uh, there was a surplus, but it seems like the surplus has gone. So I'm not really going to worry about this stuff. There's nothing nearby, nothing where we're going yet, so not a concern for me. Um, what we will do is we will come down here. Um, does, I forget, does Callaghan give cheaper anything? No, no, he does not. Okay. So we will come down here, and we're going to upgrade our ship. You know, I'm only going to spend like 50000 Because we need money for repairs and stuff like that. In one of my previous games, I accidentally spent too much money. I ran out of it. I was flying around without fuel. I was It was not good. Not good at all. So, we are going to upgrade our ship. Now, what do we want to do? Of course, there are weapons. I mean, upgrading your weapons locker is always something... That's really, really, really helpful. And I do have a feeling we're going to be getting into crew combat. So I think I'm going to upgrade to an A2. It's not much. Let's see. What else? What else can I get? I kind of want to upgrade nav assist module. Get that boost that navigation up a little bit. Having these kinds of things, piloting assist modules, nav assist modules, makes you harder to hit. Which is quite useful. They are very expensive for just a plus one. Ugh. Not really great. I could get plus two, but I think at that point I'd rather get something else. Targeting matrix is interesting. Not that I'm going to replace this with that. Um, what do we have on our ship that we know I can get rid of? This thing, the Star Shot Array, medium component. I am very, very willing to get rid of this. I almost never want to get close in range like that. And I haven't yet either. So this is definitely something we can get rid of. So let's go ahead and find it. Star Shot Lance Array. We can see what can we replace things with. We could get a larger storage hold, make more money that way. Armored storage is interesting. It gives you a little bit more shielding and armor. But I don't think we're going to go for that. I think we're going to go for more barracks or anything like that. Reinforced barracks are crazy expensive. Wow. 10% armor and 5 shielding. That's pretty cool. Um, I do like getting the reinforced officer suites. Just 5% shielding is nice. But probably not going to do it. What I'm thinking... is more torpedoes. Is there something that operates at this range? Okay. There is. You got some radiation damage. Op op <coughs> Excuse me. Optimum range at four. So when we shoot everything right now, we use six RP, meaning we've got two dead. If I got another torpedo that only used two the torpedoes at. Yeah, these don't have very good crippling chance, which is definitely what I'm going for here. Um, let's go ahead and look at the weapon. Actually, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Um, combat. Deflector array. That bonus to shielding might be quite nice to have. Just take less damage to uh, more things. 15% shielding. Plus one jump cost. I'm fine with that. What else can we get? Mass dampeners. Reinforced structures. Wow, that is a lot of armor. But I'm not super concerned about that. Mass reducer. Also, I think, I, you know what? I think I'm going to pick up this deflector array. 
I actually kind of like this. At least 480 mass. Can we not do it? Pick someone from the right. Uh, can I not? Ah, oh, there we go. Cost us 23k. I am down for this. We're going to pick up just 15% flat shielding right off the bat. It's going to protect our crew quite a bit, which I'm always concerned about. Protect our components. Done. Done and done. So now there's also something to be said about upgrading our weapons. Now, it's a bit tricky, right? We've got these Hellfire Torpedoes, which do 45% crippling, 45% crippling. These do a, the Torpedo MK Alpha level two torpedo. Now the problem with upgrading your torpedo, where was that, did I see that? Oh, wow. How is this so cheap? 50% crippling chance, does void damage. Much higher critical, much more accuracy for only 30k. And again, the Firestorm Torpedo. And what's important is these use 2RP to fire, which I'm very interested in. Because if we if we take, like some of the torpedoes you can take, they have um, 3RP to fire, which means if you move forward, you can only fire two. We can afford the ones that take 3RP to fire. If we move forward, we can still fire our two, and then when we stand stationary, we can fire all three. I know there's other torpedoes. But they don't seem to have them here. They do not seem to have them. Now, I could go for something that works in this slot. Radiation damage appeals to me. It does a hell of a lot more damage. Less crippling chance, but that cri that critical chance, I think, I mean, I, I forget exactly how the crits work. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the torpedoes. I love my tor myself some torpedoes. We could just upgrade a little bit. Level 3 from level 1. A bit more gunnery, a bit more electronics. Quite a bit more damage. And that crit chance, or the crippling chance is nice. I think I'm gonna do that. And then I will upgrade my weapons locker to a level two. It's a lot of money. But we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. I'm doing it. So there we go. We have upgraded our ship quite nicely. We fuel over here, pay our wages. Our gunnery is now maxed. Wow. We can actually ditch a gunner. What talents do you have? You've got bombardment. I would like another one. Here's a question. How about, um, can I ditch a crew dog? At level seven, though. I don't think I want to do that. No, I think I've got to ditch a gunner. I just don't need this much gunnery. So, I don't know your traits. Sorry. You are out. And I think I'm going to pick up a second mechanic for now just for now we'll probably reshuffle at some point but it's free and then with you I can pick up expert scavenger which we don't have which might come in handy a little bit of extra money and we repair our own ship love that right so why did I fire this guy well I mean 
Our gunnery is was over 200%. It just doesn't need to be. It just doesn't need to be. Um, so I'm. It's it's a bit of a waste of a crewman. I mean, the talent is nice. Losing that bombardment is uh, I'm not so happy about. But um, I just got a text message from my wife, who is in France for the uh, couple of weeks, two weeks or so. Staying at a castle, at a chateau. Yes, we live the good life. Our friends own castles, and she is visiting, while I stay home, and. Play Star Traders. Really, I'm sailing through the stars. So, who's actually in an exotic place? I mean, she is. Anyways, um, yeah, so yeah, we just did not need that gunner. It's a shame to lose the uh, the talent, but we'll pick up another one soon, I think. So I'm quite happy. We've got, um, where are you? Not you. This two deflector array is now. Pretty solid shielding. Blocks 35%. Damage to components and crew. Yeah, so now we block a bit more. Each point blocks three. We have 18 shield here. How does that how does that figure? Actually, no, our armor is quite low. But this just blocks damage to the hull? Not entirely sure. But I'm pretty happy to have this. We want to protect our crew above everything else. We should be able to escape just how much damage we take if we get into a fight that we don't like. Got that. We got one of our new shiny new torpedoes. This, uh, not the Hellfire. This Firestorm torpedo. We'll probably look to upgrade this Hellfire to a Firestorm pretty quickly. Um, but that's going to be it for now. I mean, I, I do have this passenger suite, which is not the most interesting. Um, but okay, I think uh, we also upgrade our weapons locker just a little bit. I think it's time. Blood for blood. We are going into the hyperwarp drift. We are going to spy above Ophetus until Airless Char tries to slip out. And then we are going to go for the kill. Let's do it. We're, we're flying into dangerous territory here. But um, this, is the, this is the nature of our game. Let's go and do it. Of course, it's all the way down here. So we will stop here and refuel. Bosworth is, apparently has a prestigious past. Protect an entire planet. And there's a zealot. There's fight number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some new stuff. Let's see how we do. We're bigger than they are. And we are going to unload. They are not going to be running. So we are going to open up with evasive maneuvers. Let's do it. Let's open fire. He is going to really try and get close. He's missed once, but hit twice. Actually got some debuffs on me. He's not trying to close range. I think I'm going to let this burn for now. It's a ship thing. Don't think it's necessary. We are just going to go for another evasive maneuvers. Now he is clocking the hell out of his reactor. But he is now missing everything. Not getting that many hits. Or not that many deal. Okay, well, we've got some. We've got two aftershocks. Which is good. We're just going to continue continue doing what we're doing. I think I'm going to go for a bombardment now. Try and reduce his accuracy. Reduce his damage. Uh, steady hands, of course. He's going to have a hard time hitting us, though, for sure. Give me those. Alright, aftershocks. He's missed again. And he has closed range. He is probably going to try and close range. Guarantees successful movement to closer range. I'm going to save the barrel roll.
I'm gonna use this, I think. Because we actually don't want him to get closer. Am I shooting the good weapons? I am. Is this the big one? 20 to 60. Yes. All right. We are going to try and retreat. We do not want him to board us, which he surely will want to do himself. He's missed. We've hit more debuffs, aftershocks. We've retreated, which is nice. I'm happy. Very happy to get back here. We do have an extra reactor point. That's gonna, not going to do very much for us. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use evasive maneuvers again. First one has faded off, the second one will fade off as well. There we go, electrical fire, baby. Failed to close range. Very happy to just keep on taking out him internally. I think we're also going to go for a bombardment again. See, so he's got a lot of combat talents. He did hit us. But, whoa, that's a lot of aftershocks. He is taking some massive component damage. His shields are very low. Ours are very high. I think I'm going to do targeting lock and just try and get more damage on him at this point. I have a feeling he's going to have a heart. Oh, Twitch Surge. Okay. Guaranteeing a range change here. Yeah, he's closing range. He's desperate because he's starting to take huge amounts of damage. His engine is only at 55%. We have to consider now. I think Steady Hands is probably the best course of action. I mean... We don't need Twitch Surge. None of, nothing else is going to be useful for us. But we do want the extra defense, and we might as well uh, restore some morale as well. We are quite high, but... You know. We will open up with our two torpedoes. I expect him to, to soon... lose the ability to fight. He's retreating. Oh! Well... That's not going to happen. We're going to Twitch Surge. We are going to get closer to you, sir. This is the level 1 torpedo. Yes, it is. We are going to get closer. Fast getaway. Not today. And we've done it. Very little damage. Ship report. We've lost an officer cabin and a sensor array. We've taken some component damage. We've taken some, okay, one person is demoralized, we've taken some damage. We are going to just probably loot. I mean, this turns into a lot of money, but we have nowhere to sell them right now. I mean, we might as well just take it. This I don't think I'm going to take. Well, I can just sell it anywhere. We will take fuel. I will uh, do loyalty rousing, gain some morale, that's no reason not to. We will loot armory, repair some stuff, and we will destroy them, and use expert scavenger. How much money did we make? Only 5,000 from that? Huh. And we've added 30% value, and we uh, used... Um, expert scavenger. Well, damn. That actually wasn't that impressive, but we did quite well, people. We did quite well. What's in my cargo? Oh, I did take the meals. We will heal everybody, drug everybody up, repair, and pay wages. We have got some level ups for sure. Oh, that's not right. There we go. But that's going to have to be for next time because my timer did go off. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are in dangerous territory, but man, we just handled ourselves really, really well. Um, that was a zealot, smaller ship than ours, but an experienced captain, and we just wrecked them. Just absolutely destroyed them. Um, I, so that does make me feel safe. The concern now is if we get into a fight, we use all of our talents, 
and then we get into another fight immediately after. What do you do then? That's when things get a bit tricky. I will just refuel. Um, but, we're, you know, find out next time. We're going to go after the, the Duel of Assassins has begun, and we are now going to stick our noses deep inside of it into the warm crevasse of blood that awaits us. We'll level ourselves up. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. My name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.